Welcome everyone to the next series of the Offer Vault free affiliate training webinars. We're going to be hosting these each Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. We hope that you can join us live. That way I can answer all of your questions. My name is Howie Schwartz. If you don't know me, um, I've uh, been involved with Offer Vault uh, pretty much since the beginning, and uh, I've been partners with Mark Roth and multiple businesses. We owned a mobile affiliate network years ago together, and um, I'm just excited to be here to help you. So as we run through tonight, any questions, please type them in the question box. I'm going to try to get through as many questions as we can. I see lots of people in the U.S., lots of people internationally, which is awesome. So um, tons of people um, in different countries and time zones, and I appreciate it. And I know for a lot of you, it's in the, the middle of the night um, to be on here, and I, I promise to, to make it worth your time. So again, ask questions pop up, please type them in, and, and I'd be very happy to answer them. So one of the things I just wanted to mention is uh, when you log into to Offer Vault, you're going to see a webinar tab, and on the webinar tab, you're going to see uh, our free weekly trainings, and you're going to see the first two sessions, and if you scroll down, you'll actually see many, many more um, from a few years ago, so we just restarted this on the 14th of August, so I do suggest that if you have not had the opportunity yet, that you definitely watch each of these. The first one uh, was all about how to apply and be approved by affiliate networks. Uh, as I promised, I'm going to also summarize the key points and really the number one strategy for that tonight. We're also going to look at your niche markets tonight. Training session number two, uh, which we posted the replay on, was all about paper call. So if you're not familiar with paper call as a way to monetize your traffic, or maybe you've tested it a little bit um, in the past, this is a, a great resource and a way for you to scale and, and really diversify your affiliate income. Um, again, I'm, I'm really bullish on paper call. Uh, Mark and I had a pretty big paper call components of the network that we ran uh, many years ago, and uh, I've just continued to be impressed in the ways that that can just diversify your income. So I do suggest that you watch uh, that webinar uh, also um, if you have not uh, already. So uh, one of the things that I mentioned on, on the first webinar is you really need a consistent strategy for your marketing business. And I say this pretty much on every webinar. If you treat your marketing business like a business, it will generate income for you. If you are casual about it and treat it like a hobby, it won't. And again, a hobby is something that you do for fun. A business is something that you do to profit. Um, so again, for me, I like to set uh, really my sort of daily intention in, in what my marketing business is going to be. So I start an offer all every day in the morning and I look at the live searches for different ideas. I also will take a look at trending searches for ideas. So again, um, that's just a suggestion that I always like to give everyone a little bit of um, you know, kind of guidance on is each day you want to be thinking about what's next, and each day you want to think about how to diversify a niche that you're in. So if it's a niche that you're in already, let's say it is um, you know self help or something like that, um, then what I'll do is in addition to looking for something new, I will go ahead <clears throat> and I will also take a look at um, other offers as a way to monetize what. I've already been in for a niche market and thinking about things like maybe international traffic or mobile specific offers or paper call, as I mentioned on the last session. So those are really the two things that I like to do um, each morning. And again, for you, it might be better in the evening before you go to bed or at lunchtime. Again, pick a consistent time every day to use Offer Vault. And again, I promise that um, this will really, really um, help you dramatically. And then um, I think the other very important point that I mentioned is set a goal each week of applying to 10 affiliate networks that you, that you have not applied to before. And one of the beauties of Offer Vault 
is you're always going to find new networks and new offers every single day. So you should set a plan that every single week you apply for a minimum of 10 affiliate networks that you're not currently doing business with. Because what you're going to find is even if maybe they don't have an offer that you're super excited about today, you want to build relationships with their affiliate managers. And what you'll find is that networks are adding new offers to offer vault into their own portfolios at least once a week, um, sometimes daily. Some of the larger networks are adding offers every day. So one of the best strategies that, that I can suggest is, again, you see Ad Combo, they have 658 offers. Um, I can pretty much bet you're going to find something that you're going to want to promote. So again, I'm really, really bullish about consistency. So you want to make sure um, that <clears throat> every single day um, you're applying, um, you're, you're finding new niches to start thinking about new offers that you haven't experienced before. Every day you're finding new offers to diversify and any niche markets that you're already in. And at least once a week, you're applying for a minimum of 10 new affiliate networks. That's really, if you take those three things and if you watch these webinars live or, or go through the webinar training tab every single week, you're just going to be off to a great start if you're just starting out your affiliate marketing business. And if you're already a six, seven, eight figure affiliate, you're going to find ways to, again, increase your revenue, find new ways to monetize your traffic and diversify your offer base, which are all really, really important points. Okay. So I promised that I would give you one strategy to help you increase your acceptance levels of, of applying for affiliate networks. And this one is going to solve for a few things. And that is go create a domain and the simplest of websites that just talks about your marketing business. If you do that, you're going to find that you are so much more likely to be taking serious by the affiliate networks and your acceptance rates are going to increase. The bonus for having your own domain is you can set up your email address. And to me, you know, a great thing is to do like, you know, first name or first name dot last name or whatever your company domain is dot com. So having a professional email address and having a corporate website to me is the quickest way to increase your acceptance rates from any network. Um, I talked about in the first webinar replay, and again, I do suggest that if you have not already um, to go back and um, go through that, what you're going to, to find is um, <clears throat> that one of the most common ways that affiliate managers and sort of the screeners who are working from the inbound affiliate leads, one of the quickest ways to rejection is having an inappropriate or an unprofessional email address. Um, I can tell you some of the crazy stories and some of the really funky emails that people signed up for when Mark and I ran our network. So that's a great way to not even you know make it past you know kind of stage one for review. So that's my one key tip. Just register a domain name. It's super cheap. Build the simplest website using any of the free tools or cheap website packages that might be um, in the registrars or the domains that you work with. And for that, just attach you know, a very simple um, corporate email, you know, again, your name at whatever the domain name is. And that is the best way to start as my one key strategy to increase your accept acceptance levels in networks. So does that mean someone saying that, you know, they should hold off on applying until that's done? So the, my answer is no, just like I mentioned in, you know, the affiliate training webinar on the 14th of August is I still want you to take action today and apply for 10 networks, even with, you know, whatever email that you have, again, make sure it's um, reasonably um, professional, like your name and, and, you know, the year you're born or something, you know, is, is fine. But, you know, like, um, uh, again, we've just seen kind of, you know, crazy, crazy email addresses, many of them inappropriate. So, you know, kind of clean that up or, you know, create another Gmail or something like that if you're concerned about it. But don't hold back, you know, definitely apply for 10 networks um, right now. 
um, and then set your marketing goal for this week that you're going to go out, you're going to register your domain, set up the most basic, simple, professional looking website, can use any of the free um, or basic templates that are with the domain registrar that you work with and set up that basic, simple corporate email, your, your name at your domain.com. So if you do that again, that's my one key strategy to really, really increase um, your likelihood of being accepted. And again, I went through a ton of other tips on our first session here on the 14th of August. Um, so I do really suggest that you go through this and um, you're going to get tons of other tips, but that is um, the most uh, important one. Um, <clears throat> so Jessica's asking uh, what type of content um, and contact info. So for, for content, you know, uh, I would, you know, if you have a specific niche that you want to be in, then make it about the niche that you want to be in. If this is about your marketing, then just say, this is about your affiliate marketing and, and here's our, our corporate website. Uh, we're focused in the affiliate marketing niche. You put a little information about yourself. Um, and if you're new to the affiliate marketing game, that's fine. Just talk about some of your previous business experience. Again, keep it professional. It could be super short for contact information. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, you're including a, a phone number that should be present on your website. You could use Google Voice or another phone number forwarding service that is going to forward to you know to your phone. That's perfectly fine. One of the things that I mentioned in the first uh, free affiliate training session on the 14th with also, was also have a professional phone number because the affiliate managers are going to call you, right? They're going to test. We had crazy messages. Some people would, would have jokes playing or inappropriate music. I mean, unbelievable. The, the things that we rejected people for when Mark and I had our networks have, you know, a professional phone number, um, on there. What I mean by that is just professional voicemail, your name. Sorry, I missed your call. Please leave a message, things like that. And again, um, you could always, if you don't want to put your cell phone number on there, you could always use uh, Google Voice or you know, kind of another service that's going to forward that number or at least have kind of a voicemail for you. So again, you don't need fancy contact. Um, you don't need fancy contact. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, fancy content on your website or anything like that. So um, no, so your your uh, email address, Michael, should be for whatever domain you register. So if it's you know. Um, you know, Michael's, you know, affiliate site.com or, or whatever domain it is, then it should be Michael at, you know, your domain.com, whatever the domain name is, right? Or Michael dot whatever last name is um, at the site. So that's really what I suggest again as my number one tip on increasing your likelihood of being approved by affiliate networks. So cool. Any more questions about that? Please type them in and let's move on to uh, the next part of our training tonight. So what I wanted to do tonight, as I promised, is, is I wanted to look at some niche markets with you and I wanted to talk a little bit about how we can research niches, come up with ideas for marketing, come up with ideas for content, some video marketing, social marketing, talk about different ways to, to run and monetize our offers. So if you have an affiliate um, niche or a niche that you've been interested in, something that you're already running in, or maybe a new niche market, please type it in. And I'll be super happy to, to run through it with you tonight. So while you guys are typing in your niche markets, I'm going to drink a little water and we're going to get right into it. Okay. So my other tip tonight is whether you're watching this live, you're watching the replay, one of, one of the other key things that um, I've been studying this summer, and again, this is kind of the end of the summer, you might be watching this replay you know, way into the, the future, which is fine, is I've spent the summer researching focus and attention and uh, some really interesting things on kind of brain hacking. You can kind of Google that later on. Maybe there's even an affiliate offer for it. Um, we could take a look for it, you know, for the for the fun of it. Um, but uh, again, that wasn't the niche market. That was not the niche market I was going to talk about tonight. But I've been doing a lot of research um, this summer. And one of the key things that uh, that I learned was that um, 
we don't multitask. I always thought that I was this wonderful multitasker. The human brain actually doesn't allow you to multitask. Is you're switching, right? So we're switching from different, you know, different ideas or different topics from from left to right. So really, one of the most distracting points that really impacts our focus is our cell phones and our notifications for things like Facebook and Instant Messenger. So when you're watching these webinars live or when you're watching the replays, one of the biggest tips that I learned um, this summer and all the research that I've been doing is shut off those notifications and shut off those um, topics. So if we're going to be doing a 45-minute session or one-hour session or whatever it is each week, shut off your devices and your notifications and focus. The human brain does not allow you to multitask and jump back from multiple things. If you see Facebook notifications or, man, you have the TV or radio or something going on or you're getting text messages, um, you can't focus. And uh, that switching really impacts your attention really um, uh, decreases your ability to absorb and retain that information. And again, I spent a lot of time this summer learning about these concepts and I really changed the way that I'm working and the way that I'm learning. So, um, again, that's something else I wanted to impart to you. So what I want everyone to do right now, I know it's hard, Shut off your cell phones, put them on airplane mode, shut off those Facebook notifications and it's messenger and just focus with me. And when you're watching the replays, focus. And again, you're going to find that your attention and your retention is going to increase dramatically. Okay. So it's funny. So we're looking at here and we're looking at some offers. So here is an offer on the great brain secret. And this is on a sale and this is paying out $35. So let's take a look at some other, um, Offers related to the human brain, just for the fun of it. And then um, we're going to go through your niche market. So again, um, if you have a niche market that you want me to take a look at tonight, we're going to go through as many of them as we can. Um, so nutrition hacks, memory, memory enhancers, CPA. So let's take a look at this here. Um, Fit play as an app, brain supplements, um, gen brain, memory hacks, brain. So again, it looks like these are a lot of a lot of nutraceutical offers here. Again, there's lots of different things that we can play around with. So let's take a look at uh, another one of these here. Let's take a look at the memory hack, memory enhancer. So uh, it's a brain boosting formula. Again, none of this stuff is um, is uh, is uh, any sort of you know legal advice, anything that we talk about, anything we talk about is never accounting advice. I don't play an accountant or a lawyer on TV or anything like that. Same thing like this with anything that we look at in the health or wellness market. None of this is is any suggestions for you know what these products do or do not do. You should research it yourself, understand you know um, the best sort of tactics and and requirements in the way that you're marketing them. So. Let, let's take a look at this one here. So this is a nutraceutical. Um, I love this. We are seeing so much, um, you know, so many tips right here. So whenever you see an offer that tells you about demographics, you really want to think and 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 focus on that. So you know, Affiliate X is is doing a favor for us. So if this is something that you're interested in, make sure you're always joining your networks through the offer vault links. Again, each offer page and each network page has a join network button. And the reason why is we have relationships with all of these networks. And when they see affiliates coming through offer vault, they understand that they're receiving training. They understand that they're serious about their businesses. So again, always make sure that you're using uh, the join network um, buttons on each uh, affiliate offer. So what I love about this is it's really helping me with my marketing here. So this is already telling me that this is 60% male, 40% female. So when I'm doing my ad campaigns, I'm going to want to think about demographics and the type of targeting that I'm doing, and I'm going to want to split up the campaign. So I would run run for the one for the male demographic, one for the female demographic, and I would heavy up on my male advertising here. So your traffic here is 80% mobile, 20% desktop. I would think about that in my targeting campaigns that I might be doing in you know, Google for paid search or Facebook for any ad campaigns. I'd really think about this here also. And uh, this might allow you to set some of your own pricing too, which is kind of interesting here. So not sure exactly what the user um, 
prices. So again, uh, for some nutraceuticals, maybe you're allowed to set your front end price. So maybe that's kind of what's going on here. So this is important. So they want to prove any banner advertising that you're running that they're not providing or a bridge or a landing or a jump page that you might be uh, generating they want to approve. And the reason why is, again, in the nutraceutical or any in the health and wellness space is they want to make sure that there's no sort of medical claims or anything like that. They want to make sure that everything is in compliance. So one of the things that I talk about in every webinar is the affiliate networks are your partners. We're not trying to get anything over them or, or do anything funky because the reason why they're going to catch you and guess what? You're going to lose your account and you're not going to be paid. Um, when Mark and I ran the network, we saw people trying to run all sorts of crazy things. And guess what? We always caught them. And the reason why is that we see all the referrers. We see the IP addresses. We see spikes in order, orders. We see things that just don't look standard. So I can tell you right now, you're just not going to get away with it. You're going to get kicked off the network. You're not going to get paid. And that's not the way that we build. It is not the way that we build a sustainable business. This is all about building a long-term business. What we're trying to do here at OfferVault is we're helping affiliates just like you start and then go to four, five, six, seven-figure, eight-figure businesses. Um, so many affiliates that we've worked with over the years have been able to quit their jobs and have full-time income online. And I can tell you every single serious marketer, every single marketer at that level does not play shady games, does not try to you know, pull something on an affiliate network. So follow the rules and not only will you profit, you'll be able to build a scalable um, business. You're going to build the respect of the affiliate managers within the networks. They'll bring other offers to you. They'll bring higher payouts to you. But that doesn't start um, from day one and that does not start from not following the rules. So super important here. So this is telling you what you're allowed to run. So you can run display, social search, PPV. That's pretty much everything um, here. So it's telling what you can't do. So you can't run incentivized traffic. So we talked about on some, some of that on the previous webinar. So incentivized is reward-based traffic um, where people might get coins or you know, video-based rewards or, or something like that or, or money back, things like that. So no incent traffic or incentivized traffic. No brand bidding. So what that means is you can't um, – bid for the name of this product on, on paid search. No co-registration, so uh, you can't run a co-reg offer. No adult, no email, so you can't promote this in, in email. So is desktop allowed? Yes, kind of interesting here. Uh, there's definitely some offers which will say mobile only or no mobile, they allow mobile. Carriers allowed all, so the, when it talks about carriers, we talked about this in the first webinar also. Um, if it's a mobile specific offer, um, several mobile, not several, many multiple uh, mobile offers. So many mobile offers will actually have carrier restrictions where, where they'll run in certain countries and certain carriers and whatnot. So this specific offer is not a mobile specific, is not a mobile specific offer. So um, it does not have that requirement. And again, this is being paid out on a sale. So this is your know, CPS, a cost per sale offer. We could see other offers many times that are lead based and things like that. This offer is specifically um, sale based. Okay. So I was talking about brain um, uh, hacking and things like that. So I figured let's look at a quick offer. And I thought this was sort of a, a very well done offer description page that was giving us a lot of insights about what we can and can't run. So now let's get in here and let's start going through uh, your offers here. Um, all right. So let's see questions that Jessica is asking. Does no incentive means you can't offer a free giveaway in exchange for their email zip code, et cetera, is that type of incentive role? So yeah, you can't run any sort of incent traffic related to it um, at all. Um, so, and the reason why is um, many times if you're running an incent on the front end, your users think that the incent is somehow tied to it and that's not going to be permitted uh, by the network or the advertiser that you're working with. So that's a great question. It's really important that we keep away from, um, from that here. Um, all right. So, um, so someone's asking here to get someone to go back and forth from questions here too, just about applying for network. Is it better to have an established website or a large YouTube following? So look, if you have a, a large YouTube following, if you're an influencer in your niche, that's awesome. I still do suggest um, creating a simple website and on your website, just focus on YouTube. So just put, you know, an embedded YouTube video and talk about your YouTube following in your niche market. That's awesome. But I do suggest that you still have a website and a, and a corporate email. And again, just focus on um, 
your uh, your your YouTube channel there. That's perfectly fine. Um, all right, let's take a look here. Um, so let's see here. Um, All right, so Robert was asking, uh, do I avoid offers that require a sale? So no, I don't avoid any offers. I test everything. I want to diversify my traffic. So I'll run traffic that could be on a mobile install. I'll run, I'll run traffic that you get paid for an email or a zip code submit. I run traffic that you're going to get paid for generating a lead. I run paper call traffic, and I run cost per sale traffic. So uh, that doesn't mean that um, you should only run one or exclude one. You have to test all traffic sources and see what works uh, best for your site or the way that you're running uh, your promotional campaigns and also what the restrictions are. Again, you'll find certain campaigns that don't allow a certain traffic type. type. So you should be testing everything within your niche market. I really suggest that you go deep within a niche market. Don't build, you know, kind of a one simple page and test one simple offer and wonder if it's not successful. So you quit and move on to the next one and keep on doing that. You want to be able to go deep within your markets and the type of niche research that we're going to be talking about tonight. So, all right. So Philip wants me to take a look at the crypto market. So there are lots and lots of cryptocurrency and Bitcoin type offers on offer vault. Um, what you're going to find is I think the main thing with CPA around Bitcoin is that they're country specific offers, uh, whether it's regulatory or, you know, the, the type of content that they have. I'd say that's sort of the, the main thing that I would mention is that you really do need to, to make sure you pay attention to the geography. When you see something that's like a $600 payout, that's either a cost per sale or maybe they're making you know a deposit on an exchange or, or something like that. So let's take a look at, at one of these. And again, you see language-specific offers. So uh, this network, I believe, is working with brokers and, and a call center. And um, again, without... You know, knowing the specifics of this, I believe this one is actually paying out when if someone's opening up an account and making a uh, and and making a deposit. So again, you're going to see that this is running in different countries, and these are all country specific offers. I don't think Algo Affiliates actually has anything in the U.S. Uh, because I was actually looking at that um, recently. So we could take a look at another one here from Spicy Offers. So again, um, you know, one of the main things to, to check, well, this is, you know, obviously in a different language here. So one of the main things to check is, is what countries they're running on. So uh, you'll find many crypto offers on OfferVault. And I think my main comment on that is that they are really, really um, country specific, which I think is, um, which is really important yet. Um, so someone's saying that um, they applied uh, for the affiliate network uh, with their personal Facebook account and they're not getting in, in acceptance yet. So I think, again, you know, my whole thing is that um, you want to really make sure that um, that you do set up um, that domain and, and, and your corporate domain and your email address in the way that I described. One of the other things I mentioned, I do suggest that you look at the, the webinar replay from two weeks ago. Um, and that I went into a lot of detail on, on other tips to get, uh, accepted. So, you know, they will look you up on Facebook and LinkedIn and things like that. So I have a professional, uh, appearance and kind of approach on that. Cause uh, we used to reject people cause we all the time when, when Mark and I had our network, cause we found things online and we're like, you know what, we just don't want to do business with, uh, with this person. Um, okay. Let's take a look here at, um, other niche markets. So again, anyone who wants me to look at uh, a niche market, please type it in here. So someone was saying uh, gourmet food. So let's take a look here. Uh, so we have gourmet food, immigration, weight loss, um, weight loss, pets, diving, free online gifts. Um, okay, so let's try to get through those. And again, if you want me to look at your niche market, please type it in. Let's take a look at gourmet food. I don't know if anything's going to come up with gourmet food specific, but 
probably in food related there should be. So let's take a look. Oh, okay, good. So we do see um, some offers here. Uh, we also see uh, some of them say incent allowed, which is kind of interesting. So they allow um, incentivized traffic. Um, we see a coffee offer here. Let's give this a second to load. Again, please keep on typing in your, your niche markets. All right, let's take a look here. So supermarket offers, not in cents, Happy Fresh, the Gourmet Society, Amazon gift cards, Red Mart Supermarket Online, Red Mart, Red Mart, Red Mart. This is interesting. So these are um, most likely an app install offer. So let's, let's take a look at it. So again, app installs is, is you're typically going to be paid um, when someone uh, generates an install. And these are geo-specific. So this one happens to be in Singapore. So I love um, CPI, cost for install offers. Uh, you need to be able to target your mobile traffic specifically. So if this is an iOS offer or an Android offer and it's specifically in a certain country, you have to make sure that you're following those requirements or you're not going to get compensated or, or paid for it. So um, I love CPI cost for install um, offers. And, and that was a big part of the network that Mark and I um, ran years ago that, that we successfully sold. Um, let's take a look at, at Harry and David. So this is cost per sale. So this is actually paying 3% of the sale. So you definitely will see offers, especially for physical products that are paying out an affiliate commission as a percentage of, of the sale. Um, so Harry and David is, is a really well-established brand, great customer service, great reviews online. And that's one of the things that, that I always like to consider in the offers that I'm running. I like to look at the landing page of the offer and say, you know, is this something that is professional? Is this something that's trustworthy? Because if not, then guess what? It's not going to convert well for any traffic that you send when you go to the page and if it's screaming like, wow, like get off this page, then guess what? You're not going to convert anything. So this is a very professional looking site. This is a well-established brand. So again, this is paying 3% of the, the order value. So someone's asking, you know, are these good offers to run? So the answer is based on your traffic type, I would test it as part of the diversified uh, methodology of having different networks and different types of offers. You don't want to just run, you know, app install ads. You don't want to just run zip submits. You want to be able to test different types of offers and you want to build a list within your business. To me, if you don't have an asset within your business of a customer database to be able to market to, like an email list, then it's really not a business. Then you're just you know, flipping ads every day and direct linking to, to offers. Um, and that can work. And, and I know lots of affiliates who've built full-time businesses that way. But for me, the most successful affiliates, they build an asset for their business and they start list building. And, and that's actually going to be um, our topic for next Tuesday night. Again, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. We do this every Tuesday night. We're really going to focus in on... Um, on you know how do we build uh, that core asset as an affiliate for for list building? So that's also one of the, the reasons why I like to have so many diverse networks that I'm applying for and so many different offers is is I can market to my asset, my list of uh, my email list of subscribers for a niche market, other offers over over time. So really important, just you know look at the landing pages. That you're running to and saying, you know, is this something that's trustworthy? Is this something that I'd be comfortable if I was a consumer adding my credit card to or you're filling out a lead form or installing this app? And, and if the answer is no to you, then don't run that offer, right? That's why there's so many offers and networks to choose on, um, on offer vault. Um, so again, email list building, we're going to spend a lot of time on next week. So we saw some app installs. This one allows and send traffic, which is always kind of interesting to, to look at. Um, me, you know, personally, I, I don't really, in, in my affiliate business, I really don't focus a lot on incentivized traffic or incentivized offers. I know lots of marketers are super successful on it. So my only point is if something does not say clearly and sent aloud, then it is not allowed. You can't just assume that because it doesn't say it that you can run incentivized traffic or incent traffic 
or reward traffic, it needs to clearly say in center incentivize or reward traffic accepted for you to run it. So again, it, it's not my bag, but again, um, that's okay. Look at how many offers and how many different things um, there, uh, there are out there. Um, I wanted to see that Folgers one that we saw before. I thought that was kind of interesting. Oh, one eight hundred flowers. That works really well in in the gift market. This is a six percent commission. Not only is this a trusted brand, uh, this is um, one of the best top e-commerce companies that I've seen um, for conversion and abandoning. Um, you know, uh, going after and converting abandoning carts. Um, doing a great job with Facebook Messenger. Um, you should, if you're in e-commerce. Um, and I, again, I know we're talking about affiliate marketing, but if you're also in e-commerce, you should really check out 1-800-Flowers. I've tracked those guys for years. Um, I wanted to see that Folgers offer. Um, I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, I don't really know how to spell Folgers. I don't drink the coffee. Um, so definitely be interested in, in, um, in learning a little bit more on this one. Um, Wonder if uh, I wonder if this is an older offer. Let's see if this is still online. All right, we'll come back and check for it later. I wonder if that's an older offer because I'm not seeing it uh, pop up. But I wanted to show you guys what um, what an email submit looks like. So let's just search for email submit. I just want to show you guys what a landing page of an email submit um, is going to look like. So an email submit or, or a lead gen offer is you're getting paid for generating a, a valid lead. And uh, that could be anything from a zip code or an email address or, or a phone number opt-in. Oops, I click join network, which is always good. Let's take a look at the landing page. So enter your email address. So you're going to get paid... Um, for the successful opt-in in generating a valid lead. So I wanted to show you what the Folgers offer look like because I just wanted to show you an email submit, but here is one. All right, let's get into the next niche markets. Let's see if there's any immigration offers live today. I have seen immigration offers in the past, not looked at that market in a while. So let's see. Oh, yeah, immigration. Ah, there we go, paper call. So as I mentioned, uh, you should look at the, the previous webinar from last week. The replay is in the webinar tab in OfferVault. Make sure you have a registered account in OfferVault that you're logged in, and you'll be able to click and access um, the replay for last week all about paper call. So um, this is a, a paper call offer here. Um, which which is great, and I think paper call would work really well within this niche market. So uh, I would definitely suggest um, you join this network. They have actually have many they have many paper call offers, and um, this is uh, this can work really well in immigration. Um, I've seen other paper call offers in immigration in in the past. So uh, I'm a big fan of paper call. Please watch the previous replay, and um, I would definitely test that offer if I was in the immigration niche. All right, let's take a look at weight loss. Please continue typing in your niche market. Uh, people were helping me spell Folgers. Thanks. Now, now I feel stupid. Let me try and see if I can spell it. I haven't had a cup of coffee in 15 years. So let's see if it was just me not being able to spell or or if it's an offer that's not uh, on the network anymore. Sometimes, oh, cool, let's see it. <laughs> just see if it's there. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Like 10 people typed it in for me. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. All right, so we can take a look at another uh, email zip. Yeah, it never asked me to run a coffee offer. I don't, I don't drink coffee. So um, again, you're going to get paid on the successful generation of a lead um, within this. And again, I love to test everything from email submits to zip submits um, to uh, to cost for sale to pay per click. I'll test everyone, and uh, and and thank God my marketing is not um, dependent on my spelling because it wouldn't go really well at all. Um, all right, let's get back and look at weight loss. Thank you for everyone for helping me. It's so funny. There's like a ton of people that typed in um, that typed in Folgers. Thank you. All right, let's take a look at the uh, the weight loss niche. 
Next week, you should join. I'll tell you why I can't spell. I got a funny story about elementary school on, on why I'm not a, a very good speller. Okay, you're going to see all sorts of really interesting offers around weight loss. Um, anything that's a high payout is typically a cost per sale. Sometimes I'll see really high payout paper call offers, and that re usually requires a very high call duration and qualification. I talked all about that on uh, last week on the previous webinar, webinar number two, for you to check out. So anything typically with high payout is, is one or the other. Um, You'll also see people who sometimes run free trials. Free trials are really interesting as an affiliate. I love running free trial offers uh, because those tend to convert um, really well. And you'll see that you know free trial again. These are these are different countries. You'll see maybe a free trial um, will run um, you know twenty something dollars versus a cost per sale here is one hundred and sixty five dollars, right, or fifty six dollars, something like that. So those are obviously really different payouts. So my answer is apply to both networks and test both, right? Because different types of traffic um, will convert differently and also your relationship with your traffic. That's why I mentioned before about building an asset, building a list, and that's going to be our, our focus for, for next week. Um, again, Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, please join live if you can so I can answer your questions live, is we're going to be talking about building a list. So that's why if you have a good relationship um, with your list, then not only can free trials work really well, but uh, a specific, you know, or, or more specific cost per sale for these pretty high payouts can work really well also. Let's take a look here. So free trials, again, these are geo-specific for different countries. Just want to get a feel for some different types of offers that are, uh, that are running here. So green coffee is in here. 40%. So again, this is paying off a, of a CPA off the landing page. You're going to see an unbelievable number of offers in Offer Vaults on the weight loss niche and an unbelievable number of, um, of networks to apply for. Uh, let's take a look here. I'm just looking here something if there's anything a little bit different that pops up. Um, so yeah, so I, I, I think... Um, Again, these are really a mix of, of free trials and and cost per sale. Um, we might find some lead gen in here. I, I think you're going to really focus here on cost per sale and free trial. And I would test both. Again, don't always run to the offer with the highest payout. Look at the landing page. Look at what the requirements are. And you want to find something that's going to have um, – the strongest conversion rate for you. And again, that does not always have to be. And most of the time it's not, it's not the highest paying or not the highest payout offer. It's going to be offer that converts the offer that converts the best for you for the type of traffic that, um, that you're running. Um, I always like recognizable brands. So I see something here that I've seen things for Weight Watchers in the past and, and Nutrisystem and things like that. A recognizable brand or something like South Beach Diet, which is a recognizable brand, I always find can convert really well because there's brand recognition there. And look at the requirements. So no insult, no adult, no incent, no adult traffic, no branded keyword bidding. So again, I can't bid for the term South Beach Diet. So this is a great example where if you build an asset, if you build a list, of uh, prospects and consumers are interested in this niche, you know, being able to to market um, South Beach diets them in a meat plan and, and a meal plan can work really, really well because again, you have that trust factor in there and you have that brand recognition. Again, look at your landing pages and, and just do a real quick, like you know, three second rule. In three seconds, um, do you believe that um, this is going to? Um, in three seconds, you know, is this something you're going to run away from as a consumer if you put yourself in, in their shoes, or is this something that um, you feel is trustworthy? Really, really important. So again, I see lots of um, I see lots of information um, here um, on. Uh, hold on one second. Just reading some questions here. Lots of uh, lot, lots of lots of really important points here on the trust and the brands that you're promoting. Just because something is paying out a lot, if you go to the page and you don't feel confident or safe, if you were a consumer, then don't promote that offer. Really, really important. Um, 
so good. So I'm seeing lots of different questions about, um, you know, different suggestions for, for each week's training. So that's awesome. Definitely let me know the types of training that you want to see each week. So questions on traffic and promotion, international marketing. Um, we're going to to be able to to track all of that stuff. And again, we saw a lot of people just join late tonight, and that's perfectly fine too. Uh, we have replays every single week. Make sure you're registered and logged in to, to Offer Vault. And on the webinar tab, you'll see each of the, the webinar trainings posted. Please watch the first training session about how to apply for a network. I talked a little bit about to recap, recap on that at the beginning of tonight, and then also um, how to the second webinar was um, all about uh, paper call. And tonight was a recap of how to apply to networks and how to really kind of use Offer Vault to research and kind of dig into markets, understanding you know how to evaluate landing pages, some different types of offers like email submits and promoting free trials and things like that. So we covered a lot tonight. All right, let's pick one more niche market. Let's see here. Man, lots of niche markets. Again, it can't cover everything tonight, but each one we're going to try to run each week. Um, oh, so Trey is asking how to find cost per install stall offers. So the way to find cost per install offers is go to the mobile tab. And in the mobile um, tab, um, the I, I shouldn't say the majority, but a good percentage of the offers in the mobile tab here are going to be cost per install. Um, I did talk a little bit about mobile in the first webinar also, and we could talk more about that next time also. Um, all right, looking through, let's try to find um, one more niche market. Um, let's see here. Um, so we did look at uh, rehabilitation last time I, I, and addiction. So... Just look at that real quick. Um, addiction is going to have a lot of paper call. Same thing with re rehabilitation. We have some awesome, awesome offers and networks that we work with. Uh, and this is a niche that that I really like, especially if you could build a list again, which we'll talk about next week. Um, if you could build a list in the addiction or the, or the rehab uh, market, you could uh, promote a lot of a different, a lot of different uh, paper call offers over time. And, and I think this is a really good way. Um, let me go into all offers here. Um, really good way to 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 actually diversify and monetize your uh, your traffic. Let's see if anything pops up here. If not, it'll be yep. So here. So again. Um, six minute call duration. I talked about that. If you're not familiar with that, please listen to webinar number two. I talk all about, talk all about call durations and paper calls. So again, um, wow, these are $700 ones. It's kind of interesting. Three minutes, all insurance. So again, um, some really interesting offers here. Um, I'm a really big fan of this market, especially in, uh, in paper call. All right, one more market. Um, and again, each week I'm going to try to get through as many markets as I can. If I did not get through your market live tonight, I apologize. We're going to get through more of them next week too. Um, all right, so some people are asking um, – and people making suggestions. So yeah, so next week's going about next week's going to be about uh, list building and building an asset, and the week after we'll talk about traffic. Okay, so those are um, some suggestions that I'm getting um, questions from here. So again, let me know each week what you want to learn. These sessions are all about you. So we'll talk about traffic um, in in two webinars. Next week is going to be about list building, building an asset. All right, let's take a look quick here at vacations, then we'll wrap up for the evening. Again, if you're just joining, the webinar replay will be posted in the webinar tab. Make sure you log into Offer Vault. So let's take a look here on um, vacations. Interesting, I'm seeing a lot of loan-based offers in here. It's kind of interesting. Um, so people are running uh, probably loans for vacations. I think this is coming up is probably someone saying, use a loan for vacation. That's probably why that's coming up here. Um, so we see HomeAway. The hotels, you see a lot of geographic geographic focused ones Let's take a look here so this is cost per sale so marriott that's great again it's a trust trusted trusted brand 
so I'm a big fan about working and working with networks that have um, sort of high value brands in there. So again, you're not going to have any of your prospects or consumers that are going to be concerned about doing business with Marriott. And this is again, this is being paid out on on 2.4% uh, of the, the offer value. And vacations can be pretty high ticket items. So this is an offer that I would definitely pay some attention to, and I would apply for that market. Um, HomeAway is another strong brand that um, has a lot of brand recognition here. And again, these are different markets. So this is in the APAC region. Find a hotel, let's see about this one here. So $2, I wonder if this is being paid on listed base, listing basic, or maybe this is uh, maybe this is paper call. Um, customer service calls or changes. Yep, so this is a, a paper call offer. And Ring, Ring Partners, a great network that uh, I'd suggest that you guys apply for. So I'm also looking here to see if there's any uh, – oh, so travel gift cards. These are interesting. So this is someone was asking about kind of free offers, coupon offers. So these are good. So these gift card offers, um, some of them are mobile specific. Um, some of them support mobile and web. Some of them allow incentivized traffic. Some of them do not. So you can't use the word free and you can't run this on SMS. Again, make sure that you follow the rules. Super important. I talked about that after. I talked about that before. Always follow the rules. So you're going to get paid here um, from the iGain network. Let's take a look at the landing page on a on a qualified email submit. So I do like email submit offers. Um, again, just because um, you know, just because it, it looks like it's a, a really simple. Um, form, you want to make sure that the page looks trustworthy. You want to make sure that the copy looks like it makes sense. So when I, I look at something like this, you know, this is, looks like a clean page, you know, doesn't look, you know, uh, doesn't look scammy or anything like that. So again, give it that three second judgment rule. Am I going to bounce off this page in three seconds? If not, then um, I'd be comfortable promoting it. So again, lots of really interesting things in um, in the travel niche, including um, some opportunities like, like an email submit like that. And you know, we saw like Marriott as a brand, we saw lots of international opportunities. So that's it, everyone. Um, hope everyone enjoyed. Um, hope everyone enjoyed enjoyed the webinar tonight. And again, if you just um, hopped on, uh, the replay will be posted tomorrow. We always post the replays the next day in the webinar tab. So your action items every morning or evening or afternoon for lunch, pick a time every day. Look for new offers on Offer Vault. Do it consistently every day like clockwork. And once a week minimum. And maybe the best time to do it is is right after you finish. Um, watching the, our webinars live on Tuesday night or after you go through the replay, apply for 10 networks. You do that every day looking for new offers and every week you apply for 10 networks, you're going to scale your business. That's, what's it all, that's what it's all about. So this is Howie Schwartz signing off for the night and the replay will be posted in the membership site. Thanks everyone for your great questions and your interaction and remember, take action. Have a great night.